Hi guys. Well, this is a little bit different video than you've seen on Adventures with the Hudsons, but I want to share with you what I do during the daytime, why Jim works a full-time job. Yes, he works a 40-hour-a-week job. And we resell, we buy storage units, we buy pallets, we're taking care of our property at the lake, the boat, the list goes on. But I'm going to show you why we need to separate our reselling business from our home. It has taken over the house and it's got to stop and it's got to stop very, very soon. So let's go. I'm going to show you. All right, here is the couch where I was standing. Okay, here is kind of the shipping area, the death, pe death pile area, the area where stuff has been listed and it needs to find a home on a shelf in a box somewhere other than here. So you see the bubble wrap there. Well, we don't want to hang anything on the wall over here because this house needs to be put on the market. But we have to get this clutter out of here. This is going to be a job. There's the Lenovo um, monitor that we got on a pallet that is not been listed yet. Um, yeah, we have all of these piles of items, death piles, that need to be listed. Now, all of this glassware is listed. Last year, we got these bottles in Florida at an estate sale. You have Sylvester. And you have Speedy Gonzalez. We had to take the Amaretto alcohol out of that so that I could list it on eBay. I don't want to drop it. That piece of Tupperware has not been listed, but there's a lot of melamine down here. That has all been listed. I haven't done anything with the giraffes. They're just kind of hanging out here in the back room. There's my photo box here for eBay. And I save some of our Amazon boxes because sometimes they're odd amounts that we can reuse since we're just shipping on eBay and not Amazon. Some of this back here is listed. It's marked for me to know where to find it in the description on the um, listing on eBay. Same with some of these little cubby holes. You know, these shelves came in a storage unit years and years ago. It was supposed to be strictly for shipping. Well, look what took over on all of it. We need a separate separation from living and selling. A lot of this needs gone through. Yeah, we need to take the air conditioner out. Some of this back here is our stuff that we need to sort. Um, that desk needs to go. I can tell you in that box sitting on the chair is a bunch of corning wear that needs listed. Haven't even looked at the battleship game. I can tell you that came from treasure hunting with Jeebus' yard sale. There's containers back there that when we packed up and got rid of a TV stand, it has stuff in it. And there is another little death pile there. So this is just a portion of what eBay can do to your personal space. Now you see why we need to separate it. Do you see this door? If you've been on our lives, you see this door behind us when we sit at the kitchen table and do a live, which I'm sorry we haven't done for a while. Summer has been very, very busy for us. And I've often said, someday I'll show you this room. Again, this is how eBay, and there's other stuff down here because I had a craft business that really did well, but I had to give that up. I could not continue making stuff when we started buying storage units. Look at this mess. This is a card table sitting here. I'm going down steps. This is the half basement in our tri-level. Now, a lot of this is listed, those dishes there. The pile from here, right here back, just on that edge, that's stuff that's listed. This is another death pile, and what do we do with it? And let's not even go there. So, this shelf right here, right there, that is everything that is all listed on eBay. 
along with that shelf there. Some of the stuff at the bottom back on that lower shelf was for live auctions, which it's still there. All of this fleece material up here is from when I made hats and scarves and sold those at craft shows and festivals, which we used to do 25 to 30 festivals a year. So I was a busy lady. Not only does that need listed, well, no, let's go into this. All of this is listed. These are all containers. I know exactly where to find this stuff because I've marked it on my listings. And this is my doing, guys. Jim works a 40-hour-a-week job. So eBay is my baby. I do all the listings. All of that is listed. <laughs> go back here. All of that is listed. All of it. It's all listed. And it even goes over that way. All that material is listed. I have tons of cotton material, fleece material listed on eBay. Now I'm gonna go over to the other side here and show you what those containers are. Start right here. Let's just take a look. What the heck? All right, that pots and pans, that kind of teal green container, those are all listed. The bottom container are Revere Wear pans that are cleaned. They're waiting to be listed. There's some personal stuff in here that I have been getting rid of. Now, we had a garage sale last weekend, which, guys, we were so busy, you're not going to see a video on that. But from this corner over here all the way to that stack that says kids hats. All of this is hats and scarves that I made and sold at festivals and craft shows. Those boards need to go bye-bye. They were supposed to be thrown out. This is another container that's a death pile of clothes that I need to get through. But again, a lot of this now from here these are lights that are for sale on eBay that have a license plate light that goes with it that's in the bottom container. All of that fabric is listed. The models there are listed. This suitcase is actually a Disney. It is listed, but this bottom one is not. So that container doesn't really go there, I don't think. But this is what happens when you become a reseller. And this is why it has to go. We need to get the declutter so we can get this house listed. There's repairs that need done to the house. We're not doing it. Um, it will just have to be for the next person that purchases, purchases it. So I got another area to show you. Are you ready? Where are we now? We're in what we call the garage. This garage is a single car long. So therefore, a vehicle has never seen the inside of this garage or parked in here for 22 years that we've lived here. But I have shelves. The first shelf is the A1. You get A1, 2, down here, A12. These are chairs that I don't want anything to happen to, so they got to stay in my area. So I don't have anything up there. That's just storage. But then you've got the B and you've got the C. Then I have a little bit of a death pile up here that I need to go through. Look at the doggy, And look at this old Fisher Price car. And there is a trailer up there somewhere. Right there. So I need to go through that. There is silverware here container there. I have no idea what's in it. What are we going to do with this Sigram's light? He needs to take that back to the storage unit and list it on Marketplace. That is his corner, not mine. So some of my C containers are here because they can't get on the shelf over there yet. But guys, it needs cleaned up. It needs to be in an area that is everything's in one spot including the listing area the death pile areas and this area
I'm going to take you in the car. We're going to the storage unit. Hold on. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Tell the house goodbye. We are going to the storage unit. So the next stop will be at the gate of our storage unit, our 10 by 30, that has a lot of eBay stuff in it. So I'll share what that looks like with you ne next. All right, we're pulling into the storage unit. I have to get out and put the code in so that we can get that gate to open. Gotta take my seatbelt off. And we have to go over here and put in the code. It's opening. Get back in my car. My little car. It's pretty much a vintage car, I guess, at these days it would be. But you know what? It does what I need it to do. So, I'm going to go in here. When we first got a storage unit, we were on this entrance, which it could have Sometimes it wasn't real convenient. Sorry, my seatbelt thing's going off. I made it stop because I fastened it. So we go along this side. And I'll go real slow here. Our 10 by 30 has two doors. So right there, 814, is one side of it. It's nice that if you want to open it up and have air through, you can do it. But now we go on down. That's the 10 by 30. We do have a 10 by 15, which is here. And when we empty the trailer from the garage sale, maybe today, tomorrow, I don't know. It'll be done before the, before the weekend. Um, it's going to go in that unit. So now we're going to go up and around. It's a pretty big facility. This is what I call the annex. They have another one just around uh, the corner. Guess what? I can't get through. I'm going to have to back up. Alright, detour. We have to go back up this aisle. Going to have to go out and around to the other side to get to our unit that's over there, over that way. So, there's some apartment buildings. My windshield's dirty. I just washed this car last week, but sitting in the driveway, it gets dirty. Okay, normally I like to come in the other way, so I'm pointing out to leave. But this is where we'll have to go to get in. And I see our unit a lot easier when I come in the other way. So I might happen to go by it. I always look for the lock. And right there it is. All right, here we go. Oh. A little heavy. All right, guys. I know you've seen this before. Oh, Jim hung that sign up there. We wanted to keep it. Be kind, stay humble, smile often, stay loyal, work hard, travel when possible, be honest, be thankful, and love always. We wanted to keep that. Okay, here's another death pile. Need to go through this container. It is from the 127 cell, but it's over here. It's not in the house. It's not going over to the house until I get that mess cleaned up. There is... That is a PS, PS2 that's listed on eBay. Extra bubble wrap, Sunbeam vintage stand mixer. All right, but all of this are items that are listed on eBay. This got cleaned out an awful lot. Look at the room here. You might not think it's much room, but man, it is a lot of room. Um, all of this is listed on eBay. That attic fan isn't. We bought that years ago and it's still up there. It needs to find a new home. But this is all eBay. Couldn't get to this area previous because it was filled with speakers. 
after the garage sale. A lot of them went to Goodwill. But there's some old paperwork up here. There is, look at this old light. And this metal shade goes with that. There's a slide projector. I don't know what's in that moving and storage box. Those are bins and he's got some kind of hose up there. That seat was from my father's and it goes on a five gallon bucket that you can make it into a chair. He had that up at his camper at Lake Erie that we got rid of once, once he passed away. Haven't even checked the carousel yet. That is something to do with a speaker. I have no idea, but there is a few more things over here that are eBay. This baby car seat is on um, Facebook Marketplace. A lot of these electronics are from the electronic um, unit that he bought back in the middle of winter when it was so cold out that need tested yet. But there's more electronics here that are listed on eBay. The Bose system there. He needs to get keys for those sentry safes that we got on a pallet. He still needs to check the snow blower and decide if he's keeping it. This is the darker side, the one that I didn't open the door on. And those bunky mattresses came out of our new camper because we put a queen size mattress up there. So a lot of this stuff here is pallet stuff. We need to get through it, but you know what? The poor man works a 40 hour job. We'll get it, we'll get there. We'll get there. Once we get that property, we will talk about him fully retiring. So this is where we put everything. A lot of this will tell you, well, it all tells you, like this is Corel Corning, New York Symphony. It's a sugar bowl. I have it listed for $19.99, best offer of $14. Um, Revere Wear One Quart Saucepan. So it's all listed and then I've taped the post-it notes onto it. That way it gets this out of the house. So I think what I'm gonna do is go back, get pictures taken for listings, and then start boxing up some items that are already listed and get them over here because I can utilize more room on that shelf now and I can turn this shelf into eBay listing area too very, very easily. The trash bags can go off that shelf, it can be consolidated and I could have some more room so this is what it takes for some people to be resellers now it's time to clean up that mess that's behind me and everything that I have listed and get it out of here get it to the shelves at the storage unit one thing at a time so I'm going to start on some false craft dishes they're just a lunch plate I'm going to angle you down so you can see the box and we'll pack this together. All right, we're gonna get these Yorktown um, salad or bread plates wrapped. I have already done three of them. That way you didn't have to go through all that. So I've got the perforated sections. That's probably a 12 by 12. So I've used two of them. That's the way the bubble wrap um, comes that I get. And it is, I think, American Bubble Boy, but I don't get anything from them. We're not sponsored by anyone. So I'm getting this wrapped up. I like to leave extra room at this end because then that gives that. Now I just messed up the tape. So let's use this piece. And that gives that a little bit of edge cushion there. So now I get another piece. And we'll leave a little cushion here. So now let's grab our box. I have 12 by 12 by 8. Why is my box so big? Because I want to make sure I can make a nest. I've got a couple pieces of paper here. So I'm going to take one of the plates. I have some paper laying right over here. I'm going to cut that in half and put paper between each plate. I know people don't like to sell glassware because of the packing. So now it's all bubble wrapped. 
it's in a nest it all has a piece of paper between it you see the room i have here on each side now we're going to start with more paper if i can get it apart and i buy my paper by the box at u-haul u-haul is right up the hill from our house so as you can see I know it's noisy, but I am padding the outsides. Oh, I didn't rip that one in half. What I'm trying to do is protect all the way around it that this box, when they push it in, it's not gonna touch those plates. This is perfect for the salad plates because those are probably a seven inch diameter. And I guess I probably could have used a whole piece of paper. So now that I've got that secured all the way around the perimeter of the plates, I'll take another piece and put on top here. And since this is the last piece I have here, I'll probably add one more to it, but you make a nest. So I hope that helps some of you that would be interested in selling glass items on how I pack it. So then I will weigh it, make sure I have the right dimensions and weight on my listing. I'll take a posted note. I'm gonna tag it as you saw over there. So one last thing. Thursday, this Thursday, October 6th, middle of the afternoon, Eastern time, our eBay store will have everything in it at 30% discount. Hey, the descriptions below, will you see those arrows? Click on that. You'll go to our descriptions and you can get the link for our eBay store. Take a look. Maybe there'd be something you'd like to get at 30% discount. So we will see you on the next one.